The victim says she noticed a light on in her car, warning her that her door was open. When she opened the door, she then realized that her expensive bags were missing. I saw this ad and I looked at it and I couldn't believe it. It was two out of the three handbags. Einer Easterwood feels violated. All my financial information was in there, credit cards for sure, yes. Yeah, she made off with my driver's license, she made off with my prescription pills. Yeah, she made off with everything. While Easterwood was getting in her car last month off Southwest 27th Street, she noticed the light was on inside and three of her designer purses were gone. And then I started digging. Easterwood began searching for the stolen handbags on Facebook sales groups and says she got a hit. And then I noticed that she had other ads on um, the sales group on Facebook and one listed this address and I was like, wow, 1814, you know, and I was like, that's my street. The woman behind this for sale ad, Ashley Cooper, tells ABC7 she's homeless and found the purses while rummaging through a trash bag in the neighborhood. But Easterwood doesn't buy it. After failed attempts of trying to reach out to Cooper to return the bags without pressing charges, Easterwood filed a report with Cape Coral Police Department. I'm pressing charges because I don't care. I gave her more than an opportunity to do the right thing and she chose not to. Neighbors in the area shocked, using this alleged burglary as a reason to keep an eye out. We always keep things locked, um, double check all the time. Uh, there is a lot of construction going on in the area, so we do try to, to keep watch for unfamiliar vehicles and um, and people we don't know. We always like to make sure we introduce. Easterwood says she has receipts to show the three bags belong to her. Meanwhile, Cooper says she never went through the victim's car. Reporting in Lee County, Joseph Ojo, ABC7.